What's going on, duelists? Welcome to the five deck challenge Edison format. I think this is episode five. I haven't done one of these in a while where we take five different decks of the same format and try to win five matches in a row with them. I'm going to be starting off with Black Wings today. I just came off the, uh, the Black Wing Locals video, so let's uh, start with that and put it in action for you guys. Probably sick of seeing uh, the Diva Frog deck all the time, right? So, yes, this is a typical Blackwing hand, right? When it's not always, uh, you know, peaches. When it's not always uh, the good stuff. But this is how the good stuff starts. Look at all these power cards. Solemn, Heavy. A little bit of draw power right here. Nice protection. This is fine. Potential plus one to get over with Blizzard if they don't have uh, Honest in the hand. They might. You never know. When they set a back row in Lightsworn. Glorious Illusion and Gareth. Good cards to hit. We top deck Sirocco nicely. Um, a little scary. I'm going to play this now. Good card to see. Now, this could be Threatening Roar. I'm going to say it could be Glorious Illusion, but he can't target his own Lightsworn monsters. Neither play could target them anywhere, so it would be pretty bad. Could be Beckoning, but I'm putting my money on Threatening Roar. I don't really want a Heavy Storm right here. I really just want to summon Blizzard. Um, summon Sirocco. Oh, I don't want a heavy storm. What are they playing? Let's find out. If we get Celestia, we get Celestia. Yep, there's the Honest. No problem, no problem. Alright, now he only has two targets in there. So, main phase two. It could be MST. I don't think we're going to get a good opportunity to play this again. Kind of weird to do that main phase too, right? Sets a monster reincarnation. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this game is going south kind of quickly. I'm going to try to bait out uh, Celestia summon, right? This is not a good play. Well, the setting three right here is horrendous. We should just pass, but then they're going to summon Lumina and go sick. Potentially, if they heavy storm Celestia, we lose. I'm going to think about this one for a sec because we get a nice plus one if we solemn. And we don't want them to mill. I think we actually are going to do that. Playing like a complete fool right now. Welcome to game one. We went first. We have four to their three. If they Celestia, they get it right back. They're actually going to Foolish Burial. I'm going to pay my 800 life points to negate that. And I'm going to take 1,200. If they mill another one, we are in deep doo-doo. Oh, that is a bad card to see. And that's fine. Alright. Terrible card to see. Draw another Soroke. Let's do it. I'm sure they will negate that. And Argus just putting in work. Gareth, Lila, Wolf, Celestia will end the game. Judgment Dragon will end the game. Looks like he's going for Judgment Dragon. There it is. Deep Prison getting me nowhere. Alright, can we sack our way out of this? No, we certainly cannot. Alright, black wings draw like that sometimes. What am I supposed to do? I didn't get super punished by setting all the back rows. But it didn't matter. We saw reincarnation. Crazy, crazy to put those in. I think we have to put a second impression in, right? 
But we also want to watch out for Lila. Lila's really good. Mm, we need to make sure we don't get hit by Lila. I don't even know if I want to put Fossil Dyna in. They might be putting Decrees in, which would be absolutely devastating. I can't believe I have to keep MST in. Welcome to the five deck challenge duelist game two of match number one. Gonna be a quick video for you. Just kidding, we drew really well game two. We should be going to game three despite a little bit of lag. Oof. Alright, we drew pretty damn good. Do we put Bora on the field and try to win next turn? 17, 34, 48, 61. Not enough. It's just not enough. Let's see the recharge or anything. Let, let, let's see what they got. Let's see what they're working with here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a that's a pretty bad hand. It's a pretty bad hand. Take my 17. If they mill nothing, we're in a good spot. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's that's good. Look how you could play with black wings. So minus. So, so minus. If they draw Raikou, right it's pretty good. That's pretty bad. We know everything that they have. It's time, it's time to attack. Eight fifty and 3,000 is 3850. Should put them at 4 to 50. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're feeling good. All right, we're feeling good. Um, they don't set a lot of back row. We, we're we're safe to keep Dushu in, I think. Mm, looks like they're summoning. I haven't seen a Raiko, but they gotta play Raiko. Hear me, right? Cyber Dragon's looking pretty good, actually, too. I feel like Deep Prison's looking pretty bad in this matchup. I really want to, like, Cyber Dragon attack over something. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a mess with this matchup. Lightsworn's Lightsworn, right? It's tough. Nobleman seems very good. It also seems kind of bad. <laughs> the one Book of Moon, one Nobleman special. They gotta play Raikos. Plays Monster Reincarnation, so there's no sign of Hamster, but there's definitely gotta be a Raiko in there, right? Am I really gonna side in one Nobleman of Cross out? They're gonna summon Lila Turn 1. I'm gonna open Mistral, MST, Oppression, Nobleman of Cross out. Ugly cards. Two Royal Oppression and two Cyber. I mean, that is just not. A pr learn from me. Please learn from me. That is not a good way to side deck. Don't, and I just played with Black Wings, and I should I got bailed out of locals in round one because I topped that MST for my own oppression. That you, you gotta learn, you gotta learn. There he is, there he is. This is the content we're here for. Oh, this is the content we're literally here for. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at me go. Look at me go. Oh, 
goodness. Oh, goodness. Proper side decking. That could be MST. But we have Blizzard. We're fine. He set Monster Reincarnation game one. I'm not... I'm not... I'll take a decree or an MST or something. We have Blizzard. We're gonna get rid of it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're winning the game next turn. No, we're not. Maybe. No, we're not. We're not. We need Gale. And... Uh, it's still... Uh, what would Gale do? No, it's not enough. It's not enough. Bad cards to see. Bad cards to see. It's time to go for damage. I th it's time to win the duel. He's setting back rows with Royal Decree. That means it is certainly time to win the game with Blizzard Dark Arm. He is setting back rows. He is summoning Lila. He lets it go. He, do he let it go. What on earth is happening? Is the game just over? Is that what's gonna... Does he not have Book of Moon set? one oh baby. one oh baby. That's how you beat Light Swarm. All right, that's how you... <laughs> oh, please like and subscribe for that kind of shit. I don't want to say it, but what else do I have to do? Look at us go. Look at us go. All right, 1-0, 1-0. Do we dare do it ourselves and, and show everyone how we... What the f... What is this? Why did I build this? I copied this off someone that was feeling crazy with Merchant. But I don't really want to... <laughs> I don't really want to mess with that right now, I'll tell you the truth. Alright, I'm going to play this, uh, a true hero deck that I like so much. I've been using this too. This is a really nice deck. He got second place at the Edison Tournament at Nationals for it. So, word of advice, if you play someone that has a high rating, they like to go paper. And that's why you saw me go scissors uh, last round, actually. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. See, I'm going to do... Oh, guess I'm not going to do it. What's up, babe? Now, this kid's getting rock, 100%. And paper. They go right to paper. Now, they're going to go back to rock. There it is. Sometimes they go scissors, but... Dude, no, you too. Oh, that makes me so sad. So sad. Look at this hand. Nothing wrong with this. Uh, I want Malian Grave, but I also want this to synchro with Diva if we need it. Mally seems better, but we have no discard outlet yet. And we still have Greffer, and we still have Future Fusion. Yes, it's fine. Let's get the best card, I think. Are we worried about back row? Sometimes you can get Heavy Storm right there, I think. Uh, sometimes I don't like setting bottomless, too. I'm, I'm such a chatty Cathy right now, but... <laughs> Gotta be informative. Sometimes I don't like setting the back row, but in the event, I mean, you gotta protect yourself in this format. Yeah, see, that that's why. Even though they wouldn't do it to themselves for no reason, I don't think. Looks like they don't have Substitoed, so that's good. They set two back rows, so I don't really know what they're playing. Alright, that's gonna be a 2-0. <laughs> that... <laughs> What, what 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 is this? Soul Exchange a Stratos for a Caius to hit a back row. This back row is the most common back row you will ever set turn one. I don't know if you're trying to hit MST. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what these are. But we're going to find out right now because you're here with the Poke Rapper. 
And if any of my opponents are watching this, just know every reaction you make, someone could be watching. Always do the right thing. Always be a good person. Always try to make good Yu-Gi-Oh plays, because this could happen. Let's see it. Let's see it. Econ, Kaius, MST, Aber, Assault Exchange. All right. So I make my play, and I really wanted to show you guys how good this deck is, because it's so good. He has MST and Treeborn. This is a turn. I mean, if I have Kaius and he sets Treeborn, that's, that's no good, right? I guess maybe Soul Exchange Kaius, but why quit? Why quit, baby? Tell them why. To get a Stratos off the field? If you set Treeborn, you could set Treeborn to that Econ, and if I tribute for Kaius, then you just tribute it. Tribute the Treeborn, then you keep it in Grave. You take Kaius till the end phase. You space the only back row, because I'm not going to put a second back row on the field. The next turn, Treeborn comes back. Kaius removes my Kaius if I have one, but I don't. Too well. Too, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at how nice this looks. Okay, this is getting kind of ugly. I promise it's something. Yeah, right here it looks nice. We're winning, winning uh, good matches against good players. And then look at all the matches against Joey. That's the boy. And then look at how ugly this is trying different decks today. Losing the crazy stuff. But we're 2 all right now. We're playing serious right now. Besides set 3 with Black Wings. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? We got Black Wings. I kind of want to show you guys Hero Beat. My Hero deck is literally gone. Diva. Oh, no, it's not. It's under Diva Hero Beat. Alright, let's do it with this deck. Let's see what we can muster up with this deck. Normally these videos take a long time. Once I lose this next round, then it'll be all over, but that's alright. Let's try to jump up that spot. Oh, look at us. Look at us go. Sorry for the lawn mower going. Everyone in this town is always mowing their lawn. Seven eighty-eight. You know they're going paper. <laughs> I had to give them a good ten or fifteen seconds to pick rock paper scissors, and if they don't, I usually quit because that's that's kind of an indication of what it's going to be like playing them. Like either they're super laggy or they're just not. You know, if you're going to commit to sitting down and playing a game versus someone and you're just going to do this and not r respond to them or anything, it just makes me not want to play. So, don't worry, I won't count it as a win, but we can't be sticking around. That's just crazy. And we will not accept any more games from them. We're getting a wide variety of all the different things that could happen. Took a shot, took a shot. G Sen. Cool name. Quick, good luck, have fun. Respectful opponent, love to see that. The cat loves to see it. I mean, when you, when you just keep opening Dushu and drawing such good hands, not much, not much can be done, can there? Cool. 
We got a fat little harness in our hand. Oh, we're cooking right now. We're cooking. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Do we need to set the deep prison? Nah, we don't need to set it. Let's just get all the knowledge we can. Sometimes I hold it. I don't really want to hold it right now. Um, okay, we could have set deep prison for sure. They have Gilman. But they have Wingblast Mally Diva, which is interesting. Diva really just answers the problem by itself, right? So it answers the problem even more. If there's a Mally in Grieve. So let's do that. And now we're looking pretty good. They set the Gilman. They set the Gilman. They set the Gilman. They set the Gilman. Yeah, Deep Prison's looking good. Snowman Eater Deep Prison covers it all right now. I know they're not putting this back on top of my deck. I'm okay with them putting the alias back on top. So now I have a spark and a bottomless. More cards are going to be set. I could just hold the MST. More cards are going to be set. All their cards are going to be set this turn, I think. I'm taking too long. They know this is the real one. We're not going to random space anything. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Because I always feel worse when I set the second one. You always feel worse. Look how safe we are right now. There they are. No problem. Hmm. Yep. So same cards. Bottomless and Hero Blast. Now we have Deep Prison. We're protected pretty well, so I think we are safe to do this. Bottomless and Hero Blast. He has no hero. And if he top decks one, it's going to get deprisoned. Bottomless Hero Blast. I'm not going to set that. I want to give them a little bit of a mix up next turn. We have a nice plus three on them. They have a malicious. That's good. But they're not going to send anything crazy, right? Because Mally's already in there. The best card they're going to send is a okay, okay, is Neos Alias, but there's also a Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, and okay, gotcha. That may be a Hero Blast, will the game be over before then? Oh, that's a deep prison, you dumbass. Well, that's a good card. What a card. Look how you take your time, you see what happens. But let's think this through properly now. If we summon it into bottomless and we Gemini spark that, we draw our card and he could hero blast on the Stratos, and we're still looking really, really good. What's a Neo what does this do in his hand, right? Do we let him attack and then he does it and then we just summon alias into bottomless and spark? So he has an elemental hero Neos in his hand. Hopefully we draw a hero blast, that'd be nice. He has an elemental hero Neos in his hand. 
Yeah, I don't like summoning that with Honest, but we're up plus three. I think we're okay. And we have this nice Deep Prison protecting us. Yeah, that's good. He still has Mally. Deep Prison's looking good. Snowman covers the Thought Ruler, and Deep Prison covers the Stardust. So even if he gets his plus one back right here, we're still good. Snowman's still looking good. Deep Prison's still looking good. He has an elemental hero, Neos, in his hand, and that nice Mally in the graveyard. Would have loved to show you guys the true hero deck. Prisma, Neos. He still doesn't know what this is, which is good. Prisma Neos. Would have loved to see an alias right there. I think alias would have secured game or a hero blast or even e call or anything. But honest seems good because honest could go. Oh, they're just gonna attack. Been 37 over it, but we're not gonna waste double honest to do that to a Stratos. Okay, he's gonna send a, a Necro Shade. Yeah, he really is. Wow. Oh, let me go to that real quick. He still has a Neos in his hand. Yep, space the space. It's fine. We have to send a hero monster. And of what's a monster? I don't re. I guess Gilman's not bad against Prisma. I'm gonna send this. And. I'm actually. <sighs> Two oceans seems bad. Yeah, I'm gonna send it. And I guess we have to sit and wait, right? As Prisma and Neos. my time. Now I want to put my foot on the gas and in the game, but I'm not going to summon Honest, attack Honest, and I don't know. He plays Hero Blasts and stuff. Like, there's just... If he gets that another normal monster in the grave or something, there's just no reason to try to play like a crazy person right now. We could take our time. Yep. his normal summon so he still has Mally. I'll do this now. Yep. Look at this E Hero deck that we're playing against. Alright, good card, good card. This is at one, first and foremost. Yep, 100%, 100%. We attack for 200, we gain 17, that's 19. We gain 17 more, that's 36. So we'll just swing for the two. I think I did that math right, 17 and 17 and two. Yeah, it's 36. But we look an eye. Unless he drew a hero blast. He drew a cyber dragon. Um we're gonna gain twenty one, he's gonna take twenty one, and then he's gonna take another it's forty two. I'll 
do it now. Yeah. I don't think it, it, it... It's not game, but then next turn if I get zero and I heavy and he has a back row. I guess he, it could be hero blast and we could lose. Or we could just turn zero to defense. So many cards it could have been. I, I guess it's nothing, but so many cards it could have been. So that's a good win. Alright, our e-hero deck. With Cyber Dragons in the main. Our e-hero deck with Cyber Dragons in the main. That seems pretty safe. Dust shoot still seems good. Oh, this seems pretty good. I don't really want to take out anything, tell you the truth. All these cards seem very good. Fine, I'll take out Dust Shoot. If you guys are gonna rip my head off about it. I kinda wanna take out the other bottomless. I feel like Deep Prison's just better in the matchup. Alright, I'll take out one and one. Alright, we'll see what this does. Is this the content you wanted, <laughs> or, or no? Because this is just—it doesn't—it doesn't get better than this. This is absurd. This is absolutely the, the the most busted hand. I don't think there's a more busted hand. Let's find a way to mess it up. <laughs> oh my god! It is. It is more busted somehow. It's more busted. Look at that unbelievable hand. Feel this it's important. It's important, it's important. I think we just uh miracle fuse now, right? And just start beating. See so has brain control gores and everything. I don't think he even plays that. But we have our our water and two er, uh, heroes, so we're pretty good. That's the one that needs to come out by Future Fusion. I don't really know what I'm playing against. It's a hero deck, so... I think we're okay to attack with 18, because... You can always attack if you have absolute zero, unless they have the absolute nuts. And playing Future Fusion with our Heavy Storm is a little bit questionable, but they only set one back row turn one. I think if they had a second one, they would have set it next to it and still flipped the Dust Shoot first thing. So I don't think they really have a solid answer. Or not a solid answer, but a back row. They may have answers to this. I have no idea what they have, and I really can't try to read it because they play Elemental Hero Neos in their deck. So, we're looking pretty good to my knowledge. They may have Prismas and Necroid Shamans and Neos and Hero Blasts and all things of the sort. We have never completed successfully. We've never successfully. Okay, I do have brain. We've never successfully completed a five deck challenge. We've gotten close. 
Alright, that is his normal summon. That's fine. Good answer. Good good way to answer that. And a future fusion of his own. That's good. We top deck Cyber Dragon right here. You feel like a stud? Not using Mally. Once per turn, you discard one card. Look at your opponent's head and choose a monster. If you control a monster with attack greater than or equal to the attack of the chosen card, destroy the chosen card. And if you do, inflict 500. Otherwise, take 500. That's insane. If you control a monster with attack greater than, you discard a card to look at your opponent's hand and choose a monster. But only for 500, and just you're discarding a card to look. That doesn't seem like unbelievable. Now we played this unbelievably aggressively, and the game is even right now. I think we hold the e call. Or maybe we want to thin the deck. I don't want to give him the knowledge though. It'd be a nice MST. Or a wing blast or something. Would be a nice wing blast. Absolute zero will answer the problem next turn. If I do this to get rid of this, and he gets rid of this, and I still don't answer this, and if I get rid of this, then this still answers that. If I actually get rid of this, and he does something to get rid of this, then I could flip my own heavy and get rid of I still don't have an answer to the Cyber Dragon. I'll just get rid of the Cyber Dragon, that seems safe. That's good. Call the Haunted is an insane card to draw. Sends Neos. Wow, we're just drawing like mad right now. This the one. Could have Hero Blast set. He's <laughs> gonna Hero Blast my. Oh, he's gonna Hero Blast this. That's pretty nutty. Um, I think we're okay to play a little aggressive right now. I almost want to take Ocean. Mm. Seems a little wild, right? How aggressive. Look how aggressive. Please punish me with Mirror Force. Watch this play.
does have the hero blast, gets the Neos. Could lose the Heavy Storm right now, right? We get an alias back and then we just lose. If there's seven, I'm gonna say that's fine. This goes back down to 25. It already went back down to 25, actually, but I think we just flip heavy, chain hero blast. Isn't that a sound for it? I played that very aggressively, but I thought it was right. It seemed fine. We lose the heavy storm, but um, I also get weirdly caught up in the draw phase, standby phase stuff. Like I, that whole time, I was thinking, like with Dushu, if your opponent has Dushu and you draw to four, you could space in your draw phase so they can't, because you have turn player priority. So I instantly started thinking right there that they were gonna have player priority in standby phase to use their effect first and I'm chaining to it so then that has to resolve before Stratos can use its effect so I can actually just do it in their draw phase so when he asked that that made the entire thing easier but that's very good to remember you'd still act in their draw phase alright so Black Wings did good Diva Hero won so fast wow Unbelievable. Diva Hero beat. Two more, two more, baby, two more. What are we thinking? We got this sick quick draw monarch deck that I love. We got Hero Frogs, a, a fan favorite. Machina's a good deck. Machina's very good. Like Turbo, obviously, one of the best. You guys never see me play this deck because I'm not very good with it. Zombies. Not gonna go near zombies right now. Do we cap it off with frogs or do we try to go? I think we're gonna go quick draw. I love this deck. This is a sick deck. This is uh, my teammate Feng Shui topped with this deck. And um, we're gonna use it right now. Look at this side deck, dude. Doom Cals. What's up? Let me get a good look at it before I, I haven't used it in a while. Three Hamsters, three Ryko, two Fader, two Thest, two, three Caius, Lone Fire, Titanial Dandies, the Breeze, five Traps. Alright, yeah, we're fine. This is fine. This is a sick deck, man. When he joined our team, I was like, Joey told me that he built a deck, and I was like, dude, you? That's you? You're on our team now? And I was so hyped. I think this kid's gonna. I don't know why I think this kid's gonna go. Scissors. <laughs> oh, we're getting spicy. We're getting spicy. We can't go first every match. It's just unreal, right? I would have loved to with this hand. Treeborn Frog and Death Star attacking. Start going in. Oh yeah, now we're done. We're done. This is a quick quick game one for us. Very, very quick game one for us. What do you do with this?
Do we let him get the plus? I guess so. We got Caius, right? I mean, this is horrendous. And even if we went first and we set Treeborn, they summon Shuro and run over. It's still not good, but... They attack, so they're not too scared. Take my 800, I assume. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're worried about Gores. No, they have Icarus. They're ready. They're ready. Start. I'm not going to actually try to pick apart the hand. That's something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, but it's just not going to happen right now. But Synchroing. Yeah, I mean, Blackwings are Blackwings, right? They're unbelievable. So it could be Blizzard in the hand with Shura. Now this hand is looking, like, very bad. Because we're just going to get Goyo next turn unless we draw something crazy. Extra defense, so Armed Wing could run us over, no problem. Could bluff the Gores, tribute for the Stalos, pluck a card, bang out. Kai's just doesn't seem good. Setting Raikou doesn't seem good. It's just Blizzard Dark Arm, we just lose, right? We need to mill, so Raikou doesn't seem, like, awful, but... Oh, yeah, I, I think we just lose. I think... I don't know what we could do right here if he has the cards. If he has the beats! And they usually always do. Oh, he's checking. There's only two cards in there, and you know what they are. He's doing the numbers. That's fine. Oh, okay, okay, five monsters in the graveyard, five monsters in the graveyard. Live cards. One of them is unfortunately a Treeborn Frog, so. <sighs> it's a good card to draw. I think we have to make a really bad play. I think we have to do this. I think we have to do this. Oh my god, I can't believe I have to bang out with this. That's so awful. I can't let him collude over this because then I just lose, are you 100%? questionable right here I could ugh, it, actually that's a terrible play because I actually could bang out and then yeah, actually that's a terrible play I'm just going to attack that is a horrendous play yeah, what am I talking about Keep that tree born in there. That is by far the better play. Maybe a trap? Oh, <laughs> never that. Never that. Alright, they went first. They have 5 to R6 when we draw, and we have tree born. But, we're at 56. And this card is a good one. I was like, if we do it first, that's game. Right on time. Right on time. But what are we supposed to do? If we do it in before and leave Treeborn, or put Treeborn back in the deck, then we literally don't, we have 
Toothostalos and a Dandelion. I just wanted a trap to try to stop him, but... Now we're going first. We probably want them right, and they're definitely putting in... Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, we're down game one. This is ugly. This is no good. We always do so good. Alright, seems solid, seems solid. Might be bad. Might be bad if they have all the cards, but we're gonna find out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they do have all the cards. I really have to type whirlwind like I'm really gonna get something off that. Wow, that is awful. Yeah, what, what can I do? I was hoping they wouldn't have two Sirocco in whirlwind. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this is looking real bad for us now. People say that siding me in is good against Black Wings, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem great. Sets bottomless and road with a value. Yep. Yeah, this game is done. This game is over, I think. Man, I want to complete a five deck challenge so bad. I drew so many monarchs between both of these games. Um, but what do I want to put back? I was gonna put this back because it's a bad draw, but it kind of leaves them. Yeah, I'll put this back. I'll take the eight hundred. I think that makes the most sense. I could have just waited for him to attack before I do that, but I know he has bottomless and starlight road. Can I draw a card, please? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, we can't random space here, right? If we random space and we hit the bottomless, that's good. We can titanial. And save the other one for the whirlwind. But if we don't do that and we just go lone fire into dandy, then he has to tribute unless he just has another I don't I don't think he does, but he's probably gonna tribute this. For Sirocco, I MST that. And then I tribute for... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it smart. I'm not gonna roll the dice. I don't wanna win like that. I don't wanna try to win like that. And then, cause then we're just in a really bad spot. Then we're just in a really bad spot. If we have to hit both of them and he has a free whirlwind. Alright, so he has, uh, okay. Alright, that's good.
pretty good. Mm, Kai is saying this seems good, right? Or we could Avarice first. Now I don't think there's any reason to not Avarice because it's going to get removed anyway. The thinking cap's on right now, boys and girls. Playing quick draws, a big brain deck, you know. Okay, the best cards. The best cards, the best cards, the best cards. This card will oh I'm happy it came in my hand right now so you could see the proof that that card is always 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 in my hand. I think we're going to lose this game. Sirocco, Whirlwind, Starlight Road, mystery cards. We need a hamster or a Hamster is 100% we need hamster. Oh, I was just thinking to myself, if you have Heavy Storm, that's it. Yeah, that's it, guys. There's nothing we can do with this crappy-ass hand, even with debris. Yeah, I mean, that's just not going to do anything. Oh, we had Heavy Storm, Double Whirlwind. Those were the mystery cards. I love this Quick Draw deck. I think it's so well built and it's so good. I have no clue how to side with it. Maybe I shouldn't have put these in. I could have done Dusts instead. But this card is awful. Awful, awful, awful. You have to run it, but it's always going to lose you the game unless it wins you the game. But 90% of the time, it's going to lose you the game. That's unfortunate. I want to play one more match anyway because, uh, you know, we're schmoozing. What could we play? Another failed five deck challenge. Blackwing so consistent. Blackwing so good. Blizzard Dark Arm game one. Yeah, I played it kind of silly. Well, I fixed my error, so I didn't. I think I ended up playing it as best as I could for how weirdly I drew in game two. I also played it as best as I could, and Blackwing is just a Blackwing things. So let's try this deck that everyone's raving about. Um, this is my build. It's not as good as the other ones because I play Triple Rise, a Triple Wing Blast, and it's not uh, very consistent. It also loses to the same things, but five deck challenge, five new decks you guys haven't seen me play in a long time, so. You go 3-0, you go first, you lose. I think we still would have lost that game one. Tell you all the truth. This is an interesting hand. Interesting, interesting hand. I think we're safe to just do this, right? It's a weird because I almost want to set Duke Frog. But... We have substitute plays and stuff that we could get the extra normal summon in with, so it's not... It, just because it's a different frog deck doesn't mean that I want to do crazy different frog things with it. Still stick to the game plan. No need to set cards for no reason. But this is a pretty damn good hand, I'm not going to lie. That's a DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Did not expect that to be Rodent. That is a Grand Mole. That is fine. Hmm. Big think here. Do I want to put this back on top of the deck in the end phase and then Heavy Storm? I feel like we're getting dust shooted, right? I don't want to get MST'd. I feel like you could have just MST'd it. This is kind of minus. Especially if it's Dust Shoot. 
I don't think they're setting two back row unless they have dust shoot. Or Starlight Road. I'll learn the hard way if they have bottomless Starlight Road. That's fine. Ultimate offering, wow. Now they might summon DD Warrior Lady and attack into this. Or the Grand Mole. Alright, we went first we got a nice plus one. Even though Treeborn Frog in the hand doesn't feel like a plus one. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Well, Grandma, look at how good Grandma is right now. Making me play the kind of way that I don't want to. Getting around my absolute zero. Look at Grandma putting the, what can I possibly do? Summon in attack mode? Summon it in attack mode? No, let's keep letting him draw a bunch of cards. I guess I could have... Is that Miracle Fusion? And then Battle Fader the attack and tribute for Caius? <laughs> this is a little wild, right? Alright, he has to set something next turn for sure. I, I don't want an Infernal Prodigy. Wait, if this is... Oh, if it's tribute for any hero? Oh my goodness. That's busted. I could have been drawing cards like crazy and, and not doing anything with them. <laughs> I still don't want to do that, though, because I feel like I'm going to draw the card and attack into Gores and be super minus. Yeah, I'm still not going to do it. But it's good to know that that's there when I want to do it. <laughs> Ultimate offering, Rhoda, yes sir, yes sir. I guess I could have done that like the first opportunity I had when he, uh, I could, yeah, I could have done it. Alright, so here's a grand mole in this hand. Doesn't need to set anything and will not set anything. Now we draw a very nice card. Oh my goodness, that's a nice card to see. Look at the plays, look at the plays. We could special this one for one, get a... No, we can't, we can't. We don't even need... Anything too wild, I don't think. Hmm. Do I want to put three cards on the field? Like, Dupe Frog, Unifrog, Swap Frog, or Substitoad, Dupe Frog, Swap Frog, or do I just want two? I feel like two is not bad. Should we just go for a game? No. No, we can't do that. I don't want to get rid of this so we can Miracle Fuse. That's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, that's... that's. Uh, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with this deck. Let this Game 5 be a, a lesson to you duelists that the boy does not really know what he's doing. Also, Substitute, this should be an attack mode. Come on. 
one for one's gone. So now we could do this, get this. Send this. So aggressive. <laughs> Actually, this should be in defense mode, really. Actually, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't have to be. Because we could do, we could still get Unifrog. Yeah, I think that's fine. Good old Unifrog. Where's Unifrog? Alright, this deck doesn't have Unifrog in it. That's not good. Dude, look at me just doing whatever I want, letting my opponent just, you know. I think that's what I want to do. All that work to have 7 to his 7. I don't even know what I'm playing against. And I'm playing like a fool right now. Taking stuff back. My opponents are like, yeah, no problem, no problem. They're all being very nice. Shout out to all my opponents this 5 deck challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Good to me. Yep. That's good. That's good, that's good. Let's go way to handle that. Yeah, no need to drop Fader here, because we get a Streetborn Caius Miracle Fuse next turn for game. Caius the back row. Oh, unless they have multiple back. Oh, unless they have multiple. Oh, unless they have multiple back row. Then we can't. Damn. Alright, let's start with the obvious. Oh, this could get Gemini Spark, but yeah, that's fine if they have another one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. It's Kai's to get rid of two cards. Yeah, it's a one for one. Um, Miracle Fusion seems pretty bad now. Pitching Swap Frog seems pretty bad. And if they have that Reinforced Truth card, we're pretty bad. Now we got Fader. Mm, I don't want to just throw the Miracle Fusion at him for no reason. There's no reason to do that. I want to make him commit. And that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. Holding these faders till as long as possible. They have more back row. Perfect time for our friend. Actually, it's not bad. Actually, that's not bad. Thinking about the Solemn Judgment. 
put them at 1450 they're gonna let it go through here is our hero monster here is our water monster don't think they have reinforced truth right here well they are just gonna take the 1200 that's interesting well maybe they do but we're looking pretty good with double fader we could drop the gores first yeah look at that dude look at how he's still balling since turn one Munifrog not not in my build I guess one of my favorite cards not in my build This could get torrential. One substitute, two substitutes. Could go for a game right here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, so a little, a little aggressive. If we pitch substitute and try to get two swap frogs, I mean he just mirror forced one of them, so we're looking pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. I was gonna say I would love a monarch right now. That'd be so good. And because we have swap frog now, we could keep recycling and look pretty good. This could get solemn. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's fair. But now we have one frog in grave. Let's go for it. Force a D prison. We have Gores and Double Fader, right? That should be like the game ender if this is not. Unless he has Call of the Haunted. Take my chances. Take my chances. Call of the Haunted, and we bounce Swap Frog back. He goes Summon Grand Mole, swing with 18. We drop the Gores, he bounces it back. Yeah, Grand Mole's a problem, dude. Grand Mole's a problem. There he is. This deck plays Reinforced Truth. I mean, we have to put this in a special summon like crazy. Let's just put a bunch of cards in. Let's just put a whole bunch of cards in and see what happens. That was kind of an ugly game, I think. They might be putting in masks. This seems really good. I still want that. Fader seemed good against the little guy. Pulling seemed good. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup. I'm putting in so many cards, I don't know what to take out. Econ seems good. I don't want to put in more set monsters. I play Gemini Spark so Brain doesn't seem amazing, but I mean Brain is Brain Brain is always amazing, but let's just lose to Grand Mole. Got a handful of monsters. It's actually the first time I played a game five after losing one in a five deck challenge. Normally I don't, but that's all right. You know, I just want to play more Yu-Gi-Oh. Show you guys what goes through the mind of a duelist while they're playing. Right now, you know, it's uh, I kind of just see Black Wings torturing me. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. I see grand moles. I see a lot of stuff. I'm just not putting them on having an MST or a dust tornado set against frogs. You know what I mean? I'm just going to take my chances. 
Oh my god, I set Heavy Storm, now I can't get my frog back next turn. Oh, the frog players, the 9-2 and two War League players in 5th place set Heavy Storm, a Treeborn Frog. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But the pro read, the pro read that they were going to search for DD Warrior Lady and remove it. <laughs> oh, I'm so good. Oh, oh, Tone, how do you do it, boy? Look at this second set back row. He's going to... Oh, I didn't do it. All right. The hype was instantly, instantly shot down. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Trying to get a little too pro, too ahead of ourselves. That's fine. I will take my 1900. You want to protect that. You want to protect that boy. He's thinking, oh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Good man, good player, good player. Look at the questioning. Look at the questioning. My man said Treeborn Frog in a heavy storm turn one. How did he how did he know? How did he know I was gonna do that? Well, we gotta not let honest be a factor, right, unfortunately. Honest is the card we're worried about losing to. They also play Chaos Sorcerer, and now they're down two lights, so... We have to do the best we can to deal with these things. I know you guys are in disgust with me for flipping Pot of Avarice when I had Treeborn Frog and Grave. Alright, we gotta make sure he had Honest. Just kidding, I'm, that's just what I'm overthinking right now. One, two, left, three, four beat us, and we decided to play out game five, just for some funsies. Now, this is not updating, that's good. Dude, we gotta go through three matches, or alright, it's only two matches. Just to make sure the boy had honest, make sure we did everything all right. You're smelling me. Let me give you guys a quick uh, commentary breakdown of this match right now. How ugly it was. I feel like I played a lot of these games. Not that. I mean, I'm I'm just doing silly things right now. I'm definitely not feeling sharp, and I haven't been playing much. So it's another reason why I wanted to really uh jump on all these decks and kind of make this video for you guys even if it's not super polished I uh apologize for that but I still just have fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh even if I feel unpolished sometimes sometimes I feel super sharp sometimes I don't this is um no commentary as as promised complete lie This I like to get the, the Miracle Fusion on. Has that Mirror Force sitting. My Gemini Sparks. We're going for damage. You yeah, no Unifrog in the main deck. I mean, that's just absurd. And otherwise, we could have a nice Dupe Frog and Unifrog here and not a Swap Frog in the hand. But we make do. We take back a thousand moves and no one complains, which is nice. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's a little crazy. I respect it. There's the Solemn. All right, he did. He drew into it. It's 
smart to not mirror force there. That's fine. Good play right here. They mirror force the swap frog next turn, and then the next turn, they, uh. I think we force something right here, right? Yeah, we Kais and they Salome, and then we swap frog win next turn. Or right here, we win actually. What a dope. Just happened two minutes ago. I can't remember. Let's see this hand. Let's see this hand. <laughs> this this is the look at that dude look at that call me good after that call call me good after that please 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 the reads we could summon strat I think that the right thing is probably to summon strato search a card pass probably right. Oh, he summons Kai, who had a lure in his hand. Oh, his hand was playable. I don't know why they quit. That's just unfortunate, because, yeah, they had plenty of good cards, and if I didn't draw a water monster... I mean, I'm probably going to draw a water monster, but at least, you know, their hand was extremely playable. Yeah, I don't know. They must have just lagged out or something. I wouldn't consider that uh, a rage quit or anything like that. Alrighty guys, well thanks so much for watching, another uh, a failure. W what always looks good towards the beginning in the first two or three matches when we're just schmoozing right along, making people quit, doing what we do, and then uh, then we get busted up by Blackwing. So another part for the course for our five deck challenge, and it, it leaves me um, in a very questionable state with the format because I feel like I have all these decks and I love, right now I'd say... This Ludovico Rizzo build is just unbelievably good. Obviously, my War League Frog deck is my favorite, favorite, favorite Edison deck. Um, uh, well, yeah, I'd say now it is after everything I, I feel like I've done with it. Because back in the day, my actual Edison uh, format back-to-back -back regionals with decks that I don't even have built in here because they're not really playable. But I think I made a video a while ago about what they were but they were a zombie deck i think with creature swaps and like a hero gemini monarch kind of deck with like swing of memories and stuff um not even comparable to the edison decks of now but i love those decks very dearly but definitely not as much as frogs this is my absolute favorite deck but it's tough out here man it's tough in the last i don't know if it was it wasn't an rbt it was uh Edison World Qualifier, I think. I just scrolled down there and so many good players didn't do well, which I was surprised about, but sometimes that just happens in a format. You dust you, you see your opponent's hand, or where black wings are so prevalent. It, 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 sometimes it's tough to, to pick a deck. Even this deck, I've gotten my ass destroyed with this deck three matches in a row a couple weeks ago. Losing to x Sabers, losing to Norlaris, losing to a bunch of stuff. Like, anything could happen. So you really gotta be sharp and make sure you're playing your absolute best. And even when you are, sometimes it's hard to go 5-1 in these online tournaments. Like, 5-1 seems extremely, extremely doable. But the problem with the online tournaments is to me that you're taking players from all over the world that love Edison and congregating them to this online tournament, whereas if you go to a regional or a YCS in a certain part of the country or the globe, you're, you're missing certain players. So maybe if I'm going to a regional where I'm from back in the day, yes, there are so many talented players in Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, all coming down to this regional but online, it's all the best players from the world, and their 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 power levels are just super high. And they're not even topping all the time. Some of them are. Some of them just seem to be on a completely different level. But even the ones who I think are on a completely different level are still struggling because this format is uh, just very very hard to master. I think I think you know the the dragon deck 
it can just like come out and do stuff in Orlaris and Frog FTK or whatever like those decks exist but also Triple Deck Devi and Black Wings and, and it's just a uh, like Zombies is such a good deck but it just gets killed by Deck Devi like Machina should be super good Light Sworn is just like a, a toss up deck like this is a crazy format I feel like it's still um not a hundred percent solved yet I feel like there's a triangle of Black Wings beat, like, everything. Heroes kind of beat Black Wings, and Frogs beat Heroes, and there's, like, a weird trio, and then people play, like, Glads and other stuff that kind of just mess with other stuff. It's very complicated to me, but I feel like uh, the, the good players consistently win, and if they don't, then they're only losing to other very consistent players. So that's my babble. Thank you guys so much for watching this five-deck challenge. We'll see you in the next one.